And so let's talk a little bit about what is the tax impact. I'm sure that's on the minds of many of you. Uh, it certainly uh, it needs to be explored. So let's talk about the tax information. And just a quick summary. Remember, though, that our tax rate is divided into two buckets, two pails, two parts. Uh, one side is called maintenance and operation. One side is called our interest in sinking. Our maintenance and operation side is how we go about uh, funding the school on a day-to-day -day operation. Primarily over 80% of our budget is for our people. It's our salaries and benefits of the staff members that serve the children of Midway ISD. But it also pays for other things like food and gasoline uh, for the buses and day-to-day -day operations like lights in the building, things of that nature. Now the debt service fund, also called the interest and sinking fund, is how we pay back principal and interest payments after bonds are sold. And so this, this is certainly for new construction, any major renovations that are approved by, by our community uh, and, and capital equipment uh, related to a bond. So how long though has Midway ISD had its tax rate? Previously, our tax rate has been at $1.32. And this um, bar graph just demonstrates to you that that rate has been in place since 2008. And so the last time, uh, as I mentioned to you, major bond in, in Midway ISD was in 2008, and it raised the tax rate three cents. We went from a dollar, uh, on, the, on the INS side, went from 25 cents to 28 cents. And so we've been at the same maintenance and operation rate of a dollar four over a decade. And so now I'm sure you're seeing that $1.32, what was going on during those times. As you can see, we weathered the storm of the, of the Great Recession uh, in, in, in the United States, as well as certainly debate in Texas about the funding of public schools. The, the, the school finance system has certainly been examined and examined each legislative session. Um, the state's share of funding public schools in Texas had dropped to a low of almost 36 percent, whereas 64 percent of um, the funding of local schools across Texas was funded by local taxpayers. And so what happened this le last legislative session? Um, um, an infusion of dollars was pumped into public schools. About half of that new dollar then was dedicated to what's called compressing that maintenance and operation tax rate. And so for Midway ISD, that compression meant our, our, our tax rate dropping from $1.32 to $1.25, that's a seven cent compression. And so what we would have collected locally then has been replaced by additional state dollars. And so the district continues to grow. Uh, if, if we continue to grow with students, that's how the additional dollars are generated for, this, for the school system. And so that tax rate of $1.25 um, was approved by the Board of Trustees in August and is in place for this school year. So this just demonstrates, if you don't mind reading from, with me from left to right, where we were. We were at $1.04, we were at $0.28 cents on the INS, we were at $1.32. The middle shows us that we were now at $0.97, cents, a $0.07 cent drop on maintenance and operation. We're still at $0.28 cents and we are at $1.25 currently. The bond package that I'm sharing with you, though, proposes though a, an additional $0.01 cent drop in the INS tax rate. Still maintaining $0.97 cents for maintenance and operation, INS of $0.27 for $1.24. So you're probably asking, how can you lower the tax rate at an additional penny by also asking for authorization to sell $148 million in bonds? And so let me just share with you two, to th two or three points about that. One of the things is, has been the financial, the district's um, conservative financial approach to, to bonds. The district has not sold bonds over 20 years in, in its payback period. And so many districts that are growing like Midway ISD either have a 25 or a 30 year bond. So that certainly has reduced the interest costs. We've continued to refinance, when possible, any bonds that have been sold, when it's advantageous for the district and, of course, advantageous for our, our taxpayers. We've been able to save millions of dollars in interest payments when we have refinanced at lower rates uh, for the district. Our portfolio also shows that several bonds back even in 2000, that when they were sold in 2000, which includes our new high school and includes Woodway Elementary, will soon be paid off within the year. So that has added capacity to the district. And then finally, though, as I, as I mentioned to you, we are growing. I mentioned to you about student growth, but we are growing also in our, our, our business and industry growth in Midway ISD, as well as our residential growth. We have new homes and, and, pla and subdivisions online in Midway, new businesses, as you could, if you've noticed, along Hewitt Drive, um, as well as, the, uh, of course, growth in property values in Midway uh, through the years. 
So how does our tax rate compare? This just, again, is just comparing Midway ISD to the other school districts in our county, in McLennan County. And we are one of the lowest, if you can see that. We are at $1.25, and that only has five other districts that are lower than we are, and certainly smaller, more rural type of districts. And so the reason why we have been lower is because of those factors that I mentioned to you, and the fact that we do have a strong economic base and, 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 and property values here in Midway ISD. So what has been the history, though, of bonds? A lot of questions that I receive are about the possible uh, debt and interest costs to the district. And currently where we stand, we are again at historical lows. We are below uh, 3% now, bonds. They had certainly been as high as uh, between 5 and 6% uh, in, in, the, in this history, 10-year uh, history. But right now, we are again at historical lows, and they've continued to drop. And so we're looking now with the possibility of these being anywhere from 2.5% or lower uh, in, in interest rates.